another edition of Yaz the Bars, a lesson that Yah has put into my pay, titled against the second, second one, works of the flesh or the spirit too. Um, 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 don't believe that is uh, this doctrine growing out, going around, circling around the Christian world that you don't that we are we are assured by grace, saved by hang, you know, that uh you don't have to do anything. That is not true. We're going to let God the bar speak, his words speak to show you that you have to do something. Because if you don't do nothing, you get nothing. So we're going to start off to his, uh, to the, the, where the foundation of these works of the spirit of flesh started. Praise be to the mighty Yah for this privilege and honor to stand before Yahweh and you, the Ams, the people. Praise the mighty Yah. Uh, let's start off at Genesis, where this was instituted in life, Yah, for, for us. Gen let's go to Genesis 1. We're going to read verses 1 to, to 10. I'm Yasser, your speaker, and reading is, 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 our, is our sister, our Garak. Praise the mighty Yahweh. It, and it reads whenever you have it to call it. Genesis 1 and 1. In the beginning, Elohim created the heavens and the earth. Verse 2. And the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the rock of Elohim moved upon the face of the waters. Verse 3. And Elohim said, Let there be light. And there was light. Right there, Elohim said, let there be light. He, he said, he, when he speak, that was works. He had he, he work, he, that was, he, the, this is spiritual work right, here, right, y'all. Right. That was work for all his work that was created. That was the first work he said. Continue, our call. Verse 4. And Elohim saw the light, that it was good. And Elohim divided the light from the darkness. Verse 5, And Elohim called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And the evening and the morning were the first day. And, and when he's saying he divided, that's work. Division. That is work. He had divided, so that is work. This is the first work. This established all the works that we have to that's do. True. This is spiritual work here. That's true. Our, our call, brother and sister, continue your call. Verse 6, And Elohim said, Let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters, and let it divide the waters from the waters. Verse 7, And Elohim made the firmament, and divided the waters which were under the firmament from the waters which were above the firmament. And it was so. And, and it's an element made. When you make something, what you do? You work. You work. You work. And you work. And whatever it is. This is. But this is. This is the works of the, the ruach, the spirit. You are. Yeah. Continue our call. Verse eight. And Elohim called the firmament heaven. And in the e and the evening and the morning were the second day. And y'all see, he called. And then what I want to emphasize. And and he and and, and the evening and the morning were the second day. His yams, his day starts in the evening, yes, you are not 12 midnight. Yes. Mm -hmm. Praise be to the mighty Yah. Continue. Verse 9. And Elohim said, Let the waters under the heaven be gathered <coughs> together unto one place, and let the dry land appear. And it was so. Verse 10. And Elohim called the dry land earth, and the gathering together of the waters called he seas. And Elohim saw that it was good. Praise to mighty God. Mm -hmm. Said is a mark, like say, <coughs> called is Karah, and then like he say, uh, that it and, and, and uh, it was told, this is all works you are, yes, spiritual works. Yes. Praise yes. be to the mighty God. Let's yeah. skip down to verse 14, read 14 to 19 when you have it. Uh, Genesis 1 and 14. And Elohim said, there be lights, let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night, and let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and years. Verse 15, and let them be for lights in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth 
and it was so. And Elohim made two great lights, the greater light to rule the day and the lesser light to rule the night. He made the stars also. Verse 17. And Elohim set them in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth. Verse 18. And to rule over the day and over the night and to divide the light from the darkness. And Elohim saw that it was good. Verse 19. And the evening and the morning were the fourth day. Yeah, see what verse 19 said? The evening and the morning was the yeah. first day. Yeah. We can go back to verse 15. He said, Let there be oils in the firmament of Shemayim to give oil upon the earth. And it was so. And, and, and he said, Elohim made two great oils, the greater oil to rule the Hayah and the lesser oil to rule Halayah. And he made stars also. What is this, people? This he had just he created the sun. He let you know he didn't, he didn't need the sun to start his day. He just said that you all know that. Praise the mighty Yah. Let's uh, go to uh, Genesis chapter 3. Chapter 3, verse 19. And it reads whenever you have it to call. Hallelujah. Genesis 3 and 19. In the sweat of thy face thou shalt eat bread, till thou return unto the ground. For out of it was thou taken, for dust thou art, and unto dust shalt thou return. Praise the mighty Yah. Yah got two revelations here he has for you people. One, the first one is, this when man did his, his physical works. It was a day and I had to do physical work. And two, from, he said, from, he said, um, and in thy sweat of thy face shall thou eat lack him. Like he said, a man don't work, a man don't eat him. So he's saying yeah. sweat. When you work, you be sweat. That sweat, you labor. Yeah. And then he said, till thou return unto the ground. For out of it was thou taken from dust, thou art off, art, and until thou dust shall thou return. That verse there, you all, this is, this is, this is for that old cliche that when you die, you move and go to Shemaim, he letting you know from out of the dust you were taken, that from you were returned. Meaning, right. there's no one in Shemaim, heaven, or no one's in the lake of fire now. Praise the mighty Yah. Yeah. Okay, let's go to uh, Ephesians 4, chapter 4, chapter 4, verse, verse 14. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 14. Praise the mighty Yah. And it, it reads whenever you have it come. Ephesians 4 and 14. That we henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine by the slight of men and cunning craftiness whereby they lie in wait to deceive. Praise the mighty Yah. This is he telling you all how to come out of those works of the flesh, get back in the spirit. So this is twofold. Mm -hmm. He telling you how to, what to do so you won't be in the works of the flesh, mm -hmm. which is hot to eye, and he telling you how to come into the spiritual works. Praise the mighty Yah. Mm -hmm. uh, let's go, go to, uh, go to uh, Ephesians. Uh, skip down to verse seventeen, and it reads whenever you have it. Ephesians four and seventeen. This I say therefore, and testify in Yahweh, Yeshua, that ye henceforth walk not as other Gentiles walk, in the vanity of their mind. Praise the mighty God. He tell you, come out of the works of the flesh. Come back to the, to the works of the Ruach, the Holy Spirit. Praise the mighty God. Let's go to Hebrews, Hebrews 11. 11, chapter 11, verse 1. Hebrews, Hebrews, chapter 11, verse 1. And it reads the cup whenever you have praise the mighty Yah. Ever and ever. Mm -hmm. Hebrews 11 and 1. Verse 1. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. See, Amen. This, Amen. this is the works of the Ruach, Yah. 
this is what this is work. Everything is work. This is the works that are grew up yeah. that you put in this in or not. Faith to work. Mm -hmm. To work. Mm -hmm. As the art say, you don't know, like our uh, uh, Rob Makai would say, you don't know, like to use the word work. Deeds and still come out right. to be works. Yes. Praise yes. the mighty God. Yeah. Hallelujah. Right. We not we not working for ourselves, and this no. is man's reasonable duty. Right. When you call into the vineyard, it's work. When you get up in the morning to make a hit to this beautiful Sabbath young, what you had to do, you had to prepare yourself. You had to do work. Sure you had to get you dressed, you had to shower up, do all this, you had to eat. Everything is work. Right. In this guy. Right. Praise the mighty God in life. Yeah, it is. Uh, let's go to uh uh, let's go to uh, gen back to Genesis. Genesis uh, chapter nine, verse verse one. Genesis chapter nine, verse one. Genesis. The reason I'm Genesis chapter nine, verse one. And Elohim blessed Noah and his sons, and said unto them. Be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth. Praise the mighty God. Mm. See, this is this is this is spiritual work. It See, is. throwing it down on on on, on our, and the patriarch, mm. one of the patriarchs of Israel. Yes. He's letting you know this is work. He did. He gave. He gave. He blessed with his spiritual work to do a physical work. Mm. Right. That that the, the, the multiply. That's physical work. Yeah. Praise the mighty God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's go to chapter 11. Chapter Genesis, chapter 11, verses 1 to 4. And it reads whenever you have it. Praise the mm -hmm. Genesis chapter 11, verse 1. And the whole earth was of one language and of one speech. And it came to pass as they journeyed from the east that they found a plain in the land of Shinar, mm. and they dwelt there. Verse 3. And they said one to another, Go to, let us make brick, and burn them thoroughly. And they had brick for stone, and slime had they for mortar. Verse 4. And they said, Go to, let us build up us a city and a tower, whose top may reach unto heaven and let us and let us make us a name lest we be scattered abroad upon the face of the whole earth praise the mighty God see this is this is works of the flesh you are sure this is, is what is yeah. it they work of the flesh and then they say let us let, lest we be scattered upon the face of the earth from their disobedience it happens <laughs> in a premonition they, yeah they spoke it out of their own mouth sure. praise the mighty God yeah. that's uh Go to uh, verse, uh, chapter 12, 1 to 3, and it reads whenever you have it. Genesis 12, verse 1. Now, Yahweh has said unto Abram, Get thee out of thy country, and from thy kindred, and from thy father's house, unto a land that I will show thee. Verse 2. And I will make of thee a great nation, and I will bless thee, and make thy name great, and thou shalt be a blessing. Verse 3, and I will bless them that they bless thee, and curse him that curseth thee, and in thee shall all families of the earth be blessed. Praise the mighty God. Hey, this, is, this is spiritual work, you yes. are. This is spiritual work. And I like the emphasis 3, uh, verse 3. I will barack them that barack thee. And curse him that curses thee, and these shall all miscapars of the higher be bereft. This is this is the script that you know some, some another nation like to say if they talking about them. No, this is us, right. the the so-called black man, African American. We are Israel. Right. Praise be to the mighty God. Right. How you think the air, the all the nation getting back from us? Right. We yeah. scattered all over the earth. Preach yeah, it's right. promises, promise, in it. Teach, to the brother, end, teach praise the mighty teach, God. They just, you don't know. You can have these, but you must repent and, and return it. Thus says Yahweh. Yeah. Teach, That's brother. it. Sleeping years right out, so called black man, African American. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Teach, brother. Uh, <clears throat> let's go to 
Genesis chapter 14, verses 17 and 20, and he reads to God, sister, when you have praise be to our Yahweh. Genesis 14 and 17. And the king of Sodom went out to meet him after his return from the slaughter of Chedorlaomer and of the kings that were with him at the valley of Shaven, which is the king's dale. Verse 18. And Melchizedek, king of Salem, brought forth bread and wine, and he was the priest of the Most High Elohim. Verse 19. And he blessed him and said, Blessed be Abram of the Most High Elohim, possessor of heaven and earth. Verse 20. And blessed be the Most High Elohim, which hath delivered thine enemies into thy hand. And he gave him tithes of all. Praise to mighty Yah. This, this Merakazadeh Yah, this is Yahshua, the Lamb. He been talking about that uh, Yeshua was just in the new. He, he's, he's the Bible of all. Now, as you say, the Word was it was with them, and that was that. He was the Word. Yes. He came then till he came into the flesh. Yeah. And then this is where, and, and here, he gave him tithes. This, yeah. is, this is where tithes were institutionalized, y'all. That is, this is, this is Sabah of, of Abba Yahweh. Once he speaks something, it's a command. Right. Even if it's not written. Right. One, anything that is that it was thus says Yahweh, it's a vow, it's a command that we should keep them. It's an honor, privilege to be able to do this. Come yeah. on, praise be to the mighty Yahweh. Uh -huh. Let's go to Corinthians chapter 16. Corinthians chapter 16, verses 1 to 6. Corinthians verses S T C C first. First. Yeah, first. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Sixteen. Sixteen. One. Two. Three. Yeah, Praise the mighty Yah. Let's let's read. I got them ones. There we go. And it reads whenever you have First Corinthians chapter 16, verse 1. Now concerning the collection for the saints, as I have given order to the churches of Galatia, even so do ye. Verse 2. Upon the first day of the week, let every one of you lay by him in store as Elohim, has prospered him that there be no gatherings when I come verse 3 and when I come whomsoever ye shall prove by your letters then will I send to bring your liberality unto Jerusalem. Praise the mighty God. These are spiritual works that we're supposed to have. It's, it's, it's to keep keep the congregation and and, and and the temple going. Praise be to the mighty Yah. Let's go to 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 10. And it reads the cough, sister, and you have it. Praise the mighty Yah. 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 10. Now, I beseech you, brethren, by the name of our Master Yeshua Mashiach, that ye all speak the same thing and that there be no divisions among you, but that ye be perfectly joined together in the same mind and in the same judgment. Praise the mighty God. This is twofold, you are. He said, Ma, the same thing. That's unity. You know, he telling you how to, this to, to be into spiritual thing. He telling you how to come out of that, the works of the flesh with this head, that there be no division. But like you be perfectly jo joined together. We are a car. We want. We are so we're going to be in the same pain in the, in the same mispop. Yeah. Men are giving these the bars of y'all so it can suspect people that they convict, convict them so they can come back out of the flesh into the spiritual works of Yahweh. 
Abba Yahweh. Praise the mighty Yah. Let's go. Let's go to uh, back to Genesis chapter 16. Genesis chapter 16, 1 and 3. Genesis 16, 1 and 3. And it reads, the God, whenever you have Holly, Yahweh, Yahweh, Revelation knowledge. Mm -hmm. Genesis 16, verse 1 and 3. Now Sarai, Abram's wife, bare him no children, and she had a handmaid, and an, an Egyptian, whose name was Hagar. And Sarai said unto Abram, Behold, behold now, Yahweh hath restrained me from bearing. I pray thee, go in unto my maid. It may be that I may obtain children by her. And Abram hearkened to the voice of Sarai. Verse 3. And Sarai, Abram's wife, took Hagar, her maid, the Egyptian, after Abram had dwelt ten years in the land of Canaan, and gave her to her husband, Abram, to be his wife. Praise the mighty Yah. Yah is Here's a couple of things out here. First of all, she went into the flesh of the word. Yes, and yes. secondly, she didn't wait on Yah. We yes. must wait on Yah. <laughs> Yah don't need no help. He, right. it, was a, it was a promise yes, to Abram what he was yes. going to do. Right. You just stand, no matter how long it takes, stand on what dust is, Yah will have patience. Right. Yah's yeah. patience yeah. is the virtue. She went uh -huh. into the flesh and figured she would help out uh, Abba Yah, which in the end, it causes everybody grief and pain that you don't have to go to if you just stay within the book Genesis the Revelation, stay in the mind of the, the bars of Yahweh, the words yeah. of Yahweh. And it, yes, we go, we we go, still go through things, but we know what that He gonna see us through it. Right. We are gonna go through the fire. Come on, not, not smelling like a burnt flame. Praise the mighty Yahweh. Yes. Yes. Let's go to chapter seventeen. Read verses one to six. Whenever you have. It. Hallelujah. Yeah. Genesis chapter 17, <coughs> verse 1. And when Abram was 90 years old and nine, Yahweh appeared to Abram and said unto him, I am El Shaddai, walk before me and be thou perfect. See that, y'all? It say, "Be y'all perfect." Yeah. On, 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 on this popular belief that they doctrine they teach you now, they saying you can't be perfect. Oh, but what it does say is Yahweh. He said, "Be thou perfect." Perfection is meaning in in, in the ruach. There's the bar. That's perfection. Mean maturity in the words of Abba Yahweh. That's the only way you can be perfect on our own. No. Mm -hmm. Praise the mighty Yah to the ten. <laughs> Verse 2, and I will make my covenant between me and thee, and will multiply thee exceedingly. Verse 3, and Abram fell on his face, and Elohim talked with him, saying, Verse 4, as for me, behold, my covenant is with thee, and thou shalt be a father to many nations. Verse 5, neither shall thy name any more be called Abram, but thy name shall be called Abraham. For a father of many nations have I made thee. Verse 6. And I will make thee exceedingly fruitful, and I will make nations of thee. The kings shall come out of thee, and kings shall come out of thee. Praise to my God. This is, this is, he's speaking. This is spiritual words y'all hear. It and is. this is a promise. Yeah. Look, look at us. We're here. Right. We from Abraham, right? Yeah. We yeah. Yahweh, as we obedience and serving Abba Yahweh. We are all look at it. He, yeah. he, 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 he's not a man that he can lie. Right. Look at that promise and look at the work she done. Yeah. Look at the whole era populated. Mm -hmm. As he was telling told our uh our dog and Kawa, mm -hmm. praise the mm -hmm. mighty Yah. Yeah. Let's skip down to verses, read verses 15 and 16. Genesis 17, verse 15. And Elohim said unto Abraham, As for, as for Sarai thy wife, thou shalt not call her name Sarai, but Sarah shall her name be. 
Verse 16, And I will bless her, and give thee a son also of her. Yea, I will bless her, and she shall be a mother of nations. Kings of people shall be of her. Praise the mighty Yah. See, this is this is spiritual works yeah. right here. Yeah. And, and, and secondly, when you, you when Abba Yahweh changed your name, it's for good. Right. Not when, uh, you know, that, as they change your name from our captivity. Now, right. that's, that's not good. Praise the mighty Yah. Let's go. Uh, <laughs> That's uh, 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 chapter 18, read verses 10 to 11, and reads whenever you have it. Hallelujah, Yahweh. Genesis chapter 18, verse 10. And he said, I will certainly return unto thee according to the time of life, and lo, Sarah, thy wife, shall have a son. And Sarah heard it in the tenth door. Which was behind him. Praise the mighty Yah. Like I say, he he had said according to his time. Now right. we wait on yeah, this is spiritual work uh, right. of Kai and Sarah. His Daisha Sarah have a bond. This is a promise from Yah, yep. and this is this is spiritual work. Continue, Yahweh. Mm -hmm. Verse eleven. And now now Abraham and Sarah were old and well stricken in age. And it ceased to be with Sarah after the manner of woman. Praise the mighty God. See, here it is, y'all. This, this, this is the physical, you would think, the physical work that is impossible. But is there anything hard for our power? Nothing. That's, that's, what, that's what people have to realize. Just because you see, you know, you know the stuff that's happening in the world, you know, the things, you, these words, these balls are in it. Get in here and you now and see that it does work. Praise the mighty Yah. Yeah. Believe and receive it and it will come to pass. We are all witnesses here. Right. Praise be to the mighty Yah. The change that yeah. he does. Uh -huh. No one, no Adam or Ishaq can change. Only the devils of Abba Yahweh. Praise yeah. Abba Yahweh. Yahweh. Let's go to chapter 19. Read verses 49 and read the God's system whenever you have. Hallelujah. Verse 4? Yep, chapter 19, verses 49. Oh. Genesis chapter 19, verse 4. But before they lay down, the men of the city, even the men of Sodom, come past the house round, both old and young, all the people from every quarter. Verse 5. And they call unto Lot, and said unto him, Where are the men which came in to thee this night? Bring them out unto us, that we may know them. Pray, praise Yahweh. Verse 6. And Lot went out at the door unto them, and shut the door after him. Verse 7. And said, I pray you, brethren, do not, do not so wickedly, Verse 8, Behold, now I have two daughters which have not known men. Let me, I pray you, bring them out unto you, and do ye to them as it is as is good in your eyes. Mm -hmm. Only unto these men do nothing. For therefore came they under the shadow of my roof. Verse 9, And they said, Stand, stand back. And they said again, this one fellow came in to sojourn, and he will needs be a judge. Now will we, now will we deal worse with thee than with them? And they pressed sore upon the man, even Lot, and came near to break the door. Praise Hallelujah! hallelujah. See, so this is works of the flesh, right. you are. Yep. This is what you are called, lesbian, homosexual. Right. This is it's called sodomy. With yeah. Yahweh, Yahweh. Yeah. there's no gate. That the house of time always right. take the good thing, the bars of God, and 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 yeah. try to yeah. make it that insert. Yeah. Game yeah. ain't bright, apparel yeah. happy, oh, right. all that. Yeah. That's the definition of gay. Even if they change it in the, the dictionary yeah. to appease a certain people, right. they yeah. are sodomite. Right. They didn't even want. He offered his daughters to them. Yeah. Sure did. Praise right. the mighty. This Virgin is works, raw works of the flesh. Yeah. Yah called shut up. 
uh, ship called an abomination. Yeah. Mm. One of the worst is when yeah. man, one man, one, one woman. Yeah. All hot to us are bad, but this is the one y'all call ship called abomination. Right. He hates this one dearly. Because yeah. why? He, 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 he gave a safari to man. Be fruitful and multiply. How can same sex people be fruitful and multiply? Praise be to the mighty God. This is works of the flesh. Hallelujah. Let's go to chapter 26 of Genesis, verses 34 to 35. When he reads, whenever you have a God, sister, hallelujah. Praise the mighty God. Genesis chapter 26, verse 34. And Esau was 40 years old when he took to wife mm. Judith, the daughter of Beery, the Hittite, and Bashima, the daughter of Elam, the Hittite, 30, verse 35, which were a grief of mine unto Isaac and to Rebekah. Praise the mighty Yah. Yah, a yeah. grief of pain to yeah. his Abba and Ish. <coughs> he went in the flesh and went, <coughs> went off. But Yah said, you know, he said, don't worry, don't worry no one over the other, go eat. Right. That's why they would serve up. But that rebellious flesh, that works right. of the flesh, he disobeyed our Yahweh. Right. And, and for you all say, I, I, Ark, Yaakov, Yisrael stole the birthright. That's a lie. Right. He gave it away. It so stop it. And then also, top that off, Yahweh said, he said, Yaakov I have, and Esau I should name, because he knew what he was going to do. Praise the mighty God. Yeah. Let's uh, go back to uh, chapter 25 of Genesis, verses 20, 29 and 34, and it reads, whenever you have, hallelujah, Yahweh. Gen Genesis chapter 25, verse 29. That thou would do us no hurt, as we have not touched thee, and as we have done unto thee, nothing. Oh, no, I'm in the wrong. Okay, I'm sorry. You said chapter 25. Oh, right? yeah, that was good. I'm sorry. I, I am too. I, I was reading that too. Uh, it's a wrong chapter. <laughs> I was, I was okay, too. Okay. okay, Genesis chapter 25, verse 29. Here it is. Yeah, that's, yeah, 29 and 34. Praise the mighty Yah. And Jacob sought pottage, and Esau came from the field, and he was faint. Verse 30. And Esau said to Jacob, Feed me, I pray thee, with that same red pottage, for I am faint. Therefore was his name called Edom. Verse 31. And Yaakov said, Sell me this day thy birthright. Verse 32. And Esau said, Behold, I am at the point to die. And what profit shall this birthright do to me? Verse 33. And Yaakov said, Swear to me this day. And he swore unto him. And he sold, and Yaakov sold his own birthright unto Yaakov. No, no, I'm sorry. And Esau sold his own birthright unto Yaakov. Keep going? Yeah, right. Okay. 34. Then Yaakov gave Esau bread and pottage of lentils, and he and, ya and Esau did eat and drink and rose up and went his way. Thus, Esau despised his own birthright. Praise the mighty God. Ruach just finished. <coughs> anyway, Esau is not no European, first of all. Right. Praise be to the mighty God. But that, that y'all know, y'all know, whitewash thing. But here's the answer that, that you know he didn't steal it from him. Praise the mighty God. Yeah. Hallelujah. It's right there. Let's uh, 
go to chapter 26, verses 2 to, two to 5, and you read. Chapter 26, <coughs> verse 2. And Yahweh appeared unto him and said, Go not down to Mizraim. Dwell in the land which I shall tell thee of. Verse 3. Sojourn in this land, and I will be with thee, and will bless thee. For unto thee, and unto thy seed, I will give all these countries and I will perform the oath which I swear unto Abraham thy father. Verse 4. And I will make thy seed to multiply as the stars of heaven, and will give unto thee, unto thy seed, all these countries. And in thy seed shall all the nations of the earth be blessed. Verse 5. Because that Abraham obeyed my voice and kept my charge, my commandments, my statutes, and my laws. Praise the mighty God. Mm -hmm. Here's twofold, y'all. This is Yahweh speaking and yeah. of his spiritual spiritual work. And 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 he given it and, and Yaakov obeyed. He did, he was in the spiritual work. And then Christ before then. Abraham obeyed, which he said, because that Abraham obeyed my voice, and Shema, my child, my mitzvah, my statutes, and my Torah. Yeah. This is it, y'all. Yeah. This is what you have to do. And what it is, this spiritual works you have to do. Praise the mighty Yah. Yeah. 27, let's go to yes. chapter 27, verses 26 to 29, and reads whenever you have it. Hallelujah, Yahweh. Genesis chapter 27, verse 26. And his father Isaac said unto him, Come near now and kiss me, my son. Verse 27. And he came near and kissed him, and he smelled the smell of his raiment, and blessed him, and said, See, the smell of my son is, in the, is as the smell of of the field which Yahweh hath blessed. Verse 28. Therefore Elohim give thee of the dew of heaven and the fatness of the earth and plenty of corn and wine. Verse 29. Let people serve thee and nation bow down to thee. Be Master over thy brethren, and let thy mother's son bow down to thee. Curse be every one that curseth thee, and blessed be he that blesseth thee. Praise the mighty God. We had heard this earlier, y'all. This is this is uh, uh, this is spiritual works again, y'all. This is spiritual work of the hour, and and it's one his hour. Praise the mighty God. Let's go to uh, chapter twenty-eight. Verses 1 to 5, and it reads whenever you have Genesis chapter 28, verse 1. And Isaac called Yaakov, and blessed him, and charged him, and said unto him, Thou shalt not take the wife of the daughters of Canaan. Verse 2. Arise, go to Pandan Aram, to the house of Bethuel, thy mother's father. And take thee a wife from thence of the daughter of Laban, thy mother's brother. Mm -hmm. Verse 3. And Elohim and El Shaddai bless thee and make thee fruitful and multiply thee that thou mayest be a multitude of people. Verse 4. And gave thee and give thee the blessings of Abraham to thee and to thy seed with thee, that thou mayest inherit the land wherein thou art a stranger, which Elohim gave unto Abraham. Verse 5. And Isaac went away, and Isaac sent away Yaakov, and he went to Padan, Padan Aram, unto Laban, son of Bethuel, the Syrian, the brother of Rebekah, Yaakov's 
and Esau's mother. Praise the mighty God. This is two foes, you are the spiritual blessing, spiritual blessing that's worked, and and and, and Yaakov stayed in his spiritual work. He had obedience, and the, the father knew to send him there. Why? Because he knew what thus says Yahweh: Do not marry nor to go eat. Be why? Because then you would get defiled and get their way. You turn their their hell of him. Praise the mighty God. Just like that, yeah. they're like today. Yeah. Stiff neck, hard head, years right yeah. The majority don't know. But praise the mighty God. We have come yeah. into these the bowels of Emmett. So it's our duty right. to disable stand for dust says y'all in Emmett. And she said, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's skip down to verse read verses eight to nine. Chapter 28, verse 8. 8 to 9. Read whenever you have. Okay. okay. And Esau, seeing that the daughters of Canaan pleased not Isaac his father. Huh. Verse 9. Yeah. Then went Esau unto Ishmael and took unto the wife which he had. <coughs> Mahathla, the daughter of Ishmael, Abraham's son, the sister of Nabajot, to be his wife. Yeah, it is. And once again, he's in the works of the flesh. You know, he not right. he not only dissing his earthly father, he dissing the Shemali Abba. Right. And he know that's rebellious yeah. in the flesh, y'all. That's why he got that right. gotta say works mm -hmm. of the of the flesh or the spirit. Choose the spirit. Praise the mighty God. Yes. Stay in the rock. Hallelujah. Let's uh, go, uh, stay in the same book. Go, go down. Skip to verses uh, 10 to 15 and it reads. Verse 10. Did you repeat that please? Um, read from chapter 28, 10 to 15. Oh, okay. Chapter 28, verse Genesis chapter 28, verse 10. And Yaakov went out from Beersheba and went toward Haran. Verse 11. And he lighted upon a certain place and tarried there all night, because the sun was set. And he took the, of the stones of that place and put them for his pillow and lay down in that place to sleep. Verse 12, And he dreamed, and behold, a ladder set up on the earth, and the top of it reached to, the, to heaven. And behold, the angels of Elohim ascending and descending on it. Verse 13, And, be, and behold, the uh, Yahweh stood above it and said, I am Yahweh Elohim of Abraham, thy father, and the Elohim of Isaac, the land whereon thou liest, to thee will I give it, and to thy seed. Verse 14, And thy seed shall be as the dust of the earth, and thou shalt spread abroad to the west, and to the east, and to the north, and to the south. And in thee and in thy seed shall all the families of the earth be blessed. Verse 15. And behold, and behold, I am with thee, and will keep thee in all places whither thou goest, and will bring thee again into this land. For I will not leave thee until I have done that which I have spoken to thee of. Praise the mighty God. See, these are spiritual works here that he, he has done. Like I say, he's talking about us years right here. And like I say, look around. We had multiplied his seed as you know, countless. And then like he said, he would bring us again into this land. That's our land. So over there you are. And, and we do it. you got to be obedient, stay in, be in the, uh, the spiritual works of Yahweh to be able to go there. You know, it's more... No, Sabuah to come, prophecy to come. Praise the mighty God. But it's a promise, the spiritual works of Abba Yah. Praise the mighty God. Let's uh, let's, uh, go to uh, chapter, 
that was 25, 28. Let's go to chapter 34, verses 1 and 2. Genesis chapter 34, 1, 1 and 2, and he reads, and then we have a praise to Yahweh. Genesis chapter 34, verse 1. And Dinah, the daughter of Leah, which she bare unto Jacob, went out to see the doors of the land. Verse 2. And when Shechem, the son of Haman, the, the Hivite, prince of the country, saw her, he took her and lay with her and defiled her. Praise the mighty God. This is works of the flesh. He wasn't in the room. That was works of the flesh. Hallelujah. Let's skip down and the, the, uh, verse 7. Genesis 34 verse 7. And the sons of Jacob came out of the field. When they heard it, the men were grieved, and they were very wroth, because he had wrought folly in Israel, in line with Jacob's daughter, which thing ought not to be done. Praise the mighty God. They knew that was fleshly work right. that they had broke. He had, he had defiled his sister and had broke, he broke one of y'all's Torah law. So yeah. praise yeah. the mighty Yah. Mm -hmm. Let's go to uh, uh, chapter 37, verses 18 to 21. It reads whenever you have hallelujah. Praise the mighty Yah. Genesis chapter 37, verse 18 to 21. Let's read from the King James Version. Eighteen. And he reads. And when they saw him afar off, even before he came near unto them, they conspired against him to slay him. <coughs> Verse nineteen. And they said one to another, Behold, this dreamer cometh. Verse twenty. Come now, therefore. And let us slay him and cast him into some pit, and we will say, Some evil beast has devoured him, mm. and we shall see what will become of his dreams. Mm. Verse 21. And Ruth then heard it, and he delivered him out of their hands, and said, Let us not kill him. Praise the mighty God. See this, they were talking about their brother Yasser. Mm -hmm. You know, he, had, he just had dream and vision that Yah put into him. Right. This is, but this all, this is the, the pay of the flesh, the works of the flesh. They was right. That's the fleshly mind pay. Praise the mighty Yah. Yeah. Let's, um, let's, go, let's go to chapter 39, verses 6 to 9. It reads whenever you have it, call. Chapter 39, verse 6. And he left all that he had in Yasser's hand, and he knew not all he had, save the bread which he did eat. And Yasser was a goodly person and well favored. Verse 7. And it came to pass after these things that his master's wife cast her eyes upon Yasser, and she said, Lie with me. Verse 8. <coughs> But he refused and said unto his master's wife, Behold, my master would wanted not what is with me in the house, and he had committed all that he had to my hand. Verse 9. There is none greater in this house than I, neither has he kept back anything from me but thee, because thou art his wife. How then can I do this great wickedness and sin against Elohim? Praise the mighty God. Right. Hallelujah. It's twofold. Right. She was in, she had fleshly works in her pay. Yep. He had he had spiritual works. He know, yep. and that's what it is. He said, How can he dish Yah? Right. Love for it is. No, right. not only disrespect your your is, but most of all, how can I do this raw yeah. from our Abba Yahweh? Yeah. Praise the mighty Yah. That's right. Let's go to Exodus. Exodus. Exodus chapter 1. Exodus chapter 1. Verses 
8 to 16. And it reads, whenever you have it, God, praise be to the mighty Yah. Yes. Forever and ever. Hallelujah. Exodus chapter 1, verse 8. Now there arose up a new king over Mizraim, which knew not Yahshua. Verse 9. And he said unto his people, Behold, the people of the children of Israel are more and mightier than we. Verse 10. Come on, let us deal wisely with them, lest they multiply, and it come to pass that when they when they're falling out any war, they join also unto our enemies and fight against us, and so get them up up out of the land. Verse eleven. Therefore they did set over them taskmasters to afflict them with their burdens and they built for Pharaoh treasure cities Pithom and Ramses Praise God, God. The, you, you people, this is our history here right. too this is our history. this is so called black man African American and there was other other black people they, they were the first one to have them captivity we, you see them pyramids over there we Build right. those right. praise be to the mighty God. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Verse twelve. But the more they afflicted them, the more they multiplied and grew, mm. Mm. and they were grieved because of the children of Israel. Praise the mighty God. Cause what? That spiritual work that promised that Yah said He would multiply your seed no matter what affliction they give up. Right. We, we, we don't die, we there multiply. Right. Though they had the, the influence of Adam through the house of time, have tried to genocide us for since we've been. Sure we, we're not going anywhere. No. It's a promise, spiritual works of Abba Yahweh. Right. That, uh, that fleshly works of Adam can't, mm -hmm. can't touch us. Mm -hmm. Praise the mighty Yah. Continues. Verse 13, and the, and the Egyptians made the children of Israel to serve with rigor. Verse 14, and they made their lives bitter with hard bondage, in mortar and in brick, and in all manner of service in the field. All their service wherein they made them serve was with rigor. Mm. Verse 15, and the king of Egypt spake to the Hebrews' midwives, mm -hmm. of which the name of one was Sif Shifra, and the name of the other Pua. And he said, verse 16, and he said, when ye do the office of a midwife to the Hebrew women, and see them upon the stools, if it be a son, then ye shall kill him, but if it be a daughter, then she shall live. Could read uh, verse 17. Verse 17. But the midwives feared Elohim and did not as the king of Egypt commanded them, but saved the men children alive. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's twofold. That, that, that Pharaoh, he was, he was doing the works of the flesh. Yeah. But these Ishas here, right. they was doing the works of the Ruach. Praise be to the mighty Yah. Yeah. That's what yeah. we say. No matter what Adam do, no, no, no fear, no, no, no Adam. Reverence Yahweh. That's right. Stand on what dust says uh, Yahweh. It's been an honor and privilege to bring you to the bars of Abba Yahweh. The uh, uh, works of the flesh or the flesh. We hope that you choose the works of, of the Ruach. Praise the mighty Yah. So until next time, Yahweh Barak you and your family. Praise the mighty Yah. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.